It's time. More news. Nikkei motion demonstration. Finally, we get to see them in action. We've been waiting for this forever. It feels like they waited as long as they did because they weren't quite ready yet. And there's good reason for that. It felt like it was rushed. Let's start with Amelia. A half-elf girl affiliated with Emilia's faction. What? Affiliated? This is her faction. <laughs> That's weird. This recording was made in a test environment. Please refer in-game for the most accurate version. Yeah, so they're not 100% ready. In order to grow, you have to work hard. Oh, she sounds great. Oh, oh boy. Whoa, it's... That's pretty thick. That's pretty wide, I think. Hold on, that animation is so short. It's just like one frame. Wait, it's a bit janky, but it has to be. The fewer frames there are, the faster your action is. Okay, her hurt you scream. And I thank you for it. Oh. <laughs> Wait, her burst? Her burst is you lie down on her thighs. Yes, that is a moment in ReZero, but you would make that her burst? What are you doing, Shift Up? That is not what I was expecting at all. Okay. I'm sorry, let's go back to that. You asked for this, and I thank you for it. Why is she thanking us for it? <laughs> Lap pillow, let's go. Oh, it's a beam. Oh, wait. Is that good or bad? That reminds me of Laplace, and people do not like Laplace's burst because she cannot cover. I'm willing to bet she probably can cover during it, but they didn't demonstrate it, so that's my red flag right there. That's good damage. That is ice magic. I thought she would stun with her magic, but it looks like there's no stun involved. All right, chat. That is Amelia. What do you guys think? I don't think she's bad. First of all, even though it's really covered, so I think... Rem and Ram will have a way better backsides. I'm speaking as an eco player right now. Don't judge me because there's nothing covering them. And maybe we get a bit of a tease. I don't know. This is Amelia's actual dress, so you don't get to see under it. However, with that said, we are getting a free costume for her just for completing the story. So don't worry about it. If you don't like this outfit, there's a more modern free one with a blouse and skirt and nothing's obscured. As for the burst, I'm so surprised. It's so fan service -y, but you know what? This is going to be a fan service collab, so why not? Subaru's not here, by the way. If it was a serious collab, Subaru would be here. You cannot have ReZero without Subaru. The ReZero part would not even make sense without Subaru. So it's clearly a fan service collab and they're really doubling down on it. So understandable, that's fine. As for the burst itself, I was hoping it could do more than just damage though. Stunning or slowing or something else additionally would have made her much more unique. But yeah, as it stands, I don't see anything, but I could be wrong. Burst looks like a snow white burst with a long charging. Oh, you're right. During the burst, it's charging. Oh, it's a mixture of Laplace and snow white then. So like Laplace, you're charging and it's a beam and it's doing damage. And like Snow White, once the beam hits its maximum, it explodes. But it looks like you don't get to control it. As soon as it hits its maximum, it explodes. So it's like charge damage plus a finisher is the idea then. Okay, not bad. I like that. Let's keep going. Check out Amelia's skills below. Skill level is valued at 10. There's a possibility that skills may be changed in the future. So we officially know what she does. She is an attacker, burst three, weapon is freezing breath, code is water, ammo capacity six, reload time two seconds. It's just rocket launcher stats. Skill one, lesser spirits blessing. Activates when attacking with full charge, affects self. Charge speed up by 13% for one round. This is at level 10, so it's at best. 13% charge speed is huge though. Charge damage up by 2% for every unit in the final max ammunition capacity. Oh, I see it now. Okay. Charge damage up by 2.01% for every unit in the final max ammunition capacity. I think what they mean is every capacity over six, which is her base magazine, increases her damage by 2%, but it's only for one shot. So whenever this triggers, you better fully load it for that shot. Oh, it's supposed to make the finisher even stronger. So her skill one is going to be very necessary for Freezing Witch to do its maximum damage. And yes, run her of leader, run her of bunny girls, get as much ammo as you can. And max ammo lines are probably really good on her. If you do it like that, I think there's something here. Skill two, great spirits mace, reference to Puck, but Puck's not here. Activates when attacking a full charge, affects targets, deals fixed damage to the main body equal to 58.99% of the damage dealt by self. Okay, nice damage. Fixed damage too, wow. Activates when entering full burst, affects self, max ammo capacity up by three rounds for 10 seconds. So no matter what, she's gonna get more rounds, which increases her charge damage. And finally, burst skill, freezing witch, four second cooldown, of course, burst three attacker, affects self, explosion range up by 101%. That's basically like Laplace, but 
yeah, what Burson said for 10 seconds. Oh, so during her burst, when it explodes, it can even hit multiple targets. Nice. Freezing Witch function decreases charge speed, increases charge damage for one shot. Wait. Charge speed down by 300%. That means it takes longer to charge, but that's okay because it's a beam that does damage. So it extends your charge. That's interesting how it's counterintuitive to get charged then. Because huh. you have skill one increasing charge speed by 13% for one round and then effect one decreasing charge speed by 300%. It's weird. Effect two charge damage up by 1300%. <laughs> Chill. Okay, the idea is with the beam, you do a lot of damage. And then once the explosion happens, it's going to have a big radius and it's going to hit multiple targets. I like that. I think that's really interesting as a whole. Could she be really good? We'll see. This kind of archetype is rough, really rough. It's against Red Hood in particular because Red Hood essentially wants to stay out of cover and just unload tons of damage immediately, but it is an AOE. And you already have like these charge into straight up big damage with Maxwell and Snow White. So it's interesting. It's like an in-between of a lot of characters. Let's see. Once she's out, let's do the testings. Okay, let's keep going. Skill. Amelia can increase attack in proportion to max ammunition capacity. When her burst skill is in effect, she can launch a wide range attack and deal significant damage to the enemy. Okay, nice. I'm glad we covered this. This is only the last 30 minutes. Okay. Let's see what people think. Should we be a beast against bosses with close parts? I agree. There are some, yeah, there are some bosses with all the parts right next to each other and Rocket Launcher can splash. And as a result, hit all parts at once, basically multiplying the damage based off every part getting hit. So Amelia could be really interesting in those scenarios. Though with Red Hood, for example, with Pure Sandwich can do the same thing. So I don't expect her to beat Red Hood. Let's be frank here, but it will be nice to have another character like this. Water Code unit severely needs a DPS, so I'll take it. Yes. For water DPSs, we only have Amelia thus far and Lumilla that are really good water DPSs. So I guess it's fine to do it like this. Okay, let's see the responses. <laughs> Lift. OMG, Lap Pillow. This is my ultimate goal in life. Thank you so much. Okay, the Lap Pillow. Yes, again, this was an actual scene in the anime chat. Subaru really needed this. He went through so much at that point. I'm not gonna spoil anything. ReZero is a really good anime. You should definitely check it out. First season is so memorable. Her dress must be too heavy for her backside to jiggle. You're right, there's no jiggle on her backside. Magic must not have a lot of recoil. Wow, no jiggle, but you do see the thigh jiggle during the burst. Kind of disappointed, man. You can make the staff fire something and feels explosive and, and damaging and then shakes her body and then her booty. It's okay, we're, we're all sane, absolutely sane DK players around here. The guy's name is Horny the D-Gen Gamer, all right? It's just normal. Well, after seeing her shooting pose, I can safely say I was right. These characters have no place in this game. Like, why even bother? Ugh, that's so critical. No comment. Well, after seeing our shooting pose, I can safely say I was right. These characters have no place in this game. Like, why even bother? Okay. No jiggle. Another hybrid B3. Covered ass. Easy skip and safer anniversary. Come on, guys. I know Nikkei players are a different breed of gacha gamers in general, but like, come on. Easiest skip ever. Wow. No jiggle. Wow, guys, come on. That shooting pose looks so awkward. Well, she's pushing her back out to make her butt look bigger. So yeah, it's kind of awkward. No jiggle. It's so Jover. Nikkei players, please. Wow. F. Wow. Come, come on. Nikkei is a top five gacha in Japan. ReZero is massive in Japan. It's not as big of a deal if internationally this does not do well because it's clearly meant to capitalize on Japan. Look, you don't have to enjoy the collab as much. You don't. But the benefits of collab is easy to see. And in Japan, we're about to get a ton of new players, which means a ton more money for shift up generated by Nikkei, which means they'll spend more money on Nikkei to do a better job. So even if you don't care about the collab, there are benefits here that everyone will enjoy. All they want is a jiggle, I know. Re-zero jiggle physics, oh my gosh. Crazy how all the comments are saying no jiggle pass. Legit question, is that truly the only thing that entices you guys to play this game? Thumbs up. Man, thank you for saying it. Are Nikkei players just the most degen of gacha gamers? Come on. Everyone keeps telling me they came for the horny and they stayed for the immaculate story, for the characters. But you guys are not showing that at all. <sighs> Whatever. Not the skirt curse. Oh, jeez. I'm the only one summoning, huh? I love ReZero. I'll be pulling as well. This will be the first event I'll be skipping. Bruh. Yeah, we are going in this banner. Okay. I'm a huge fan of ReZero. I'm feeling let down. I'm not even combining for no for no jiggle. I mean, it just looks so rushed. I mean, her firing pose looks weird. They pushed her butt out like they did for Scarlet, which I don't really like. It's just awkward on her. She wouldn't do that. But they're also trying to balance it out from the expectation of Nikkei fans. And by having no jiggle, they screwed them over as well. So I do think Amelia looks rushed. And I feel like 
her face just doesn't look quite right. Rem and Ram look cor correct to me, but Emilia just feels off. I get that though. Lap pillow ain't no way. Her burst animation, love, yeah. Nah, that's just bad. Thank you for sparing my wall of this one, bruh. Lap pillow, the oh, OMG. It looks so much a Laplace mechanically. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. Except there's an explosion at the end. I'm hoping her event outfit looks better, but 07. 07? 07? Why are you 07ing? Bro, we're getting a lap pillow for a burst animation pull. Absolute zero ass jiggle. Easy pass. It's magic, man. It's magic. They don't shake an anime for casting magic. No jiggle. Easy skip. I bet the free skin or the gotcha skin will have ass jiggle. Bruh. I'm your biggest fan. Like, I only have 3k, but please come home. Refail. Wow. Where did the jiggle go? I died and came back to life. Lap of discipline. Re zero jiggle. There's no motion back there. Where are the waves? Okay, I am done reading these. Oh, here's the lap pillow moment. She actually got the lap pillow motion like an anime. Thank you. That's the only good part about all this. As an actual ReZero fan, no, I don't care if Amelia's butt jiggles. I don't care if Rem and Ram's butt jiggles. I'm just glad they're here. I just want them to have a good story and for everything to make sense, for me to enjoy their personalities, their characters in another aspect, in another way. That's what matters to me. I'm not disappointed in her in the slightest. I think she's fine. I don't care about the jiggles. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed that, drop a like, subscribe, follow. Let me know your thoughts. Please don't be one of the DJ Nikkei fans. Please be better than that. There's enough jiggle in the game, all right? You don't need everything to jiggle. It's magic. It doesn't have to have recoil.